This is a really, really cool video. No walls. How does the soil hold together? Why does it hold together? Some people, <coughs> Royce McCain, don't believe that this can work. Hey guys, Sean from Living Seeds, your seed guru. Today, this video is for Royce McCain. He said to me, he doesn't believe that plug master blocks can hold up by themselves. Royce, this video is for you. Making plug master blocks is so simple. You just push down, pull up, and you have stunning plug master blocks. Each time you use the plug master, you make four planting blocks like this. The planting blocks don't have a wall. And this is where everybody's mind goes because they don't understand how this thing can hold together because it has no wall. What keeps it together? Let's show you guys how it works. The reason why these plug master blocks hold so well together is because they're made with the Living Seeds germination mix. The key ingredient that holds this together is the coir blocks that we put into our germination mix, which becomes the plug master mix. And this is what holds these blocks together. Now, initially, for the first week or two, these blocks are very delicate. Yes, they're delicate. If you squeeze them too hard, they are going to break and fall apart. However, once the plant is growing inside here, you can squeeze them, you can shake them, you can stamp them, they're not gonna fall apart. Let's explain to you why that works. There's a little hole in the top, you plant your seed inside the hole, you take a bit of your germination mix, you cover the seed, and what happens is there's enough moisture inside this plug master block that it doesn't need water for three days. What happens is that seed actually imbibes water, it hydrates, and it starts the germination process. Plug master blocks work on a principle called air pruning. The seed germinates, it sends roots out through this entire block, and those roots will thread their way through the block, literally stitching the block together. Every time a root approaches, so if the root is growing over here, every time the root approaches the outside of the block, it encounters air and the root turns itself back in the block and this sews up the block, making the block hold together exceptionally well. One of the things to bear in mind when you are planting large seeds, and specifically I'm talking about beans. So if, you, if you're growing beans inside a plug master block, if you're growing corn inside a plug master block, what we advise and what we've learned over the years is it's best to pre-soak them overnight. So if you're gonna be planting tomorrow morning, put them into some water tonight to allow those, those seeds, those large seeds to hydrate properly. Otherwise what happens is as the seed hydrates, the seed swells, and if the seed swells, it might actually crack the block open and that will lead to an early failure of your plug master block, which you don't really want. This is a young sunflower plant that is going to be a sacrificial plant to show you guys what's happening inside this block. But before I break this block open, if you look underneath the block, you can actually see the roots of the sunflower and how the roots have actually sewn the base of this plug master block together. This sunflower block hasn't been watered this morning and we did it specifically so that we could show you the inside of what's happening over here and try and understand, I'm, I'm holding it quite close to my mic, so I'm hoping you'll be able to hear the root shear as we tear this block open. I'm hoping you could hear that. But you can see these roots. These roots are actually have stitched this whole block together. Now, this hasn't been watered, so it's dry. So there's no reason for this block to actually hold together. I am going to attempt to dissolve the plug master mix into some water and we can see what root structure is left behind inside this block. Look at that beautiful root structure. And that is what's holding this plug master block together. The more we soak it, the less we are able to actually remove this material at the bottom of the plug master. I'm going to try and loosen it slightly. 
Okay, there is a little bit of roots floating in the water. I don't know if you can see the roots floating in the water. So we have, we have lost some root structure to the actual water itself. See, there's some more roots coming off. But that is the root structure inside a plug master block. This is a really, really cool video. Royce, thank you so much for asking me to make this video. I really enjoyed seeing the inside of the Plugmaster block. I've actually never done this whole soaking thing before, and it's fantastic. Thank you. There's only one tool you need when you are watering a Plugmaster block, and it is the stock standard classic Gardena Rose. The, you don't need a special Wonder Waterer 9000 with 59 different settings on it. You need a Gardena Rose and a light dusting of water on the Plugmaster block and we're going to show that to you now. Just to give you an idea as to how robust these blocks are, we've got Plugmaster blocks in different stages of growth. So here we've got seeds that have just germinated. You can see the, the first true leaves are starting to come out. We've got older blocks over here and all we're doing is we're taking our Gardena rose and we are watering the blocks and you can actually see the water soaking into the blocks Yes, we are losing a little bit of of material But what I'm actually doing over here is I'm over watering it Normally you would you would water it for about five seconds We are literally over watering it and you can see that the blocks are holding up Another way of doing this is using the living seeds trays to water your Plugmaster block. So you put water into the bottom tray, you push down, and you take your, your plug, and you can see that these plugs are, are nice and dry, and you put the plug into the water. Okay, you can see how the water has wicked up into the Plugmaster blocks. At this point, they are their most fragile. So what we would suggest is you actually lift the tray like this, and give it a slight turn to allow the water to drain nicely but the water will continue wicking up the plug master blocks. The biggest benefit of the Living Seeds Plug Master is the elimination of transplant shock. As you can see these roots at the bottom over here all they are looking for is soil to grow into. So the minute that you take this block with all of its air pruned roots running throughout this block and you take the block and you plant it into some soil, what's going to happen is the roots are now encountering soil on the other side of this block and they will continue growing straight into the soil, eliminating transplant shock.